The legal community is mourning the loss of a man referred to as one of the finest attorneys in the country. Former Texas Solicitor General Gregory Scott Coleman and two of his family members died when the small plane Coleman was flying crashed while trying to land at a Florida airport. KXAN's Doug Shoup joins us now with details about the plane's final moments and more on Mr. Coleman's life. Doug? Well, Shannon, the 47-year-old attorney lived in Cedar Park. He served as a law clerk for a U.S. Supreme Court justice and as Texas's top litigator. Coleman racked up numerous accolades and was on the board of directors for the American Red Cross of Central Texas. His loss is being felt across Austin, the state, and the nation. Gregory Coleman, his mother-in-law, and his wife's uncle were flying to the Florida Panhandle for Thanksgiving when their single-engine Piper Malibu went down in heavy fog on approach to the Destin Airport Tuesday night. All three died in the crash. Uh, it's been hard to even think about, you know, what happens on Monday or the next day. Wednesday, crews pulled the wreckage from about five feet of water in the Choctahatchee Bay, a little more than a mile from the runway. I never found a lawyer anywhere or one of his former clients anywhere who said anything less than he was one of the finest attorneys they'd ever met. In private practice, Coleman won a handful of cases before the U.S. Supreme Court. He was most recently a partner at Austin's Yetter Coleman Appellate Law Firm. In 1999, he was hired by then Texas Attorney General John Cornyn to be the state's first Solicitor General. Before that, he clerked for Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas in the U.S. Court of Appeals Fifth Circuit. Coleman graduated from A&M before receiving a law degree from UT in 1992. Law partner Mark Tobolsky says Coleman leaves a lasting professional legacy. He has set the bar um, for appellate lawyers in this state, and all other appellate lawyers that come after him are going to be compared to him and measured against him. Despite his professional success, though, those closest to Coleman say his legacy is mostly personal. Craig would want to be remembered um, about how much he uh, loved his family and his children, um, and beyond that, just was just a, his tireless generosity and a willingness to help those, um, his friends and those throughout the community. Coleman was married for more than two decades and has three sons. His mother-in-law, 63-year-old Charlene Black Miller, who also died in the crash, was an assistant vice president at Texas A&M University. And Shannon, the National Transportation Safety Board is still investigating this crash. Our thoughts are with the Coleman family tonight, Doug. Yes, Thank you.